Well, hi there. We're leaving France today. It's a rainy day here. So, yeah, perhaps maybe time to check out, to head out here. So I had some quiet days of relaxation. It was quite nice here. Well, it was all right. So I promised uh, to keep you updated, but that was not possible uh, to do an upload here. So I had no proper internet here. So, but what I did, I did some footage for you. And yeah, some footage of France, uh, of the region here. And uh, also about HU tobaccos, what I think about HU tobaccos. So, so if you're interested in that, uh, you can take a look uh, now and I do the rest of my packing and then we head out so uh, I come back to you and uh, tell you one or two things more about HU tobacco just a little bit and I'll tell you what's going on next week so why don't you watch the footage if you're interested in that Yeah, behind me, that's the little water mill where I stay here for yeah, for some days, just some quiet days, just enjoying nature and quietness here in France. So this is near Metz. Hmm. Sun's coming up a little bit now and then. So, but we have no rain, so that's. That's okay now. Yeah, smoking my Peterson Ashford. So, nice pipe. Smokes very well. Hmm, I'll tell you what I smoke. Smoking some Tillerman. Tillerman. That's done by HU Tobaccos. So, HU Tobaccos. I promise to tell a little bit about that, so from video to video I will do that. So don't want to bore you with that. So HU Tobaccos, that's a German micro blending company. So a very, very small company. There's, there's one man behind it and that's Hans Wiedemann. So he's the master blender of HU Tobaccos. And yeah, HU Tobaccos by the way, so I ask myself what, is, what does that mean HU tobaccos where does the name come from so I asked the main distributor and uh, he, he wrote me back very kindly that th these people are really kind and they do a great service I have I have to say that so to mention that so and he said well I wasn't quite sure either so I asked the Hans Wiedemann and <laughs> he said yeah it's just about Hans and Ulrike, so Ulrike is his, his wife, so HU Tobaccos is just Hans and Ulrike Wiedemann, so um, there's no, no further meaning behind that, so anyway, Hans Wiedemann, for me it seems like he is, he is really someone really into the natural tobaccos, and really into, he's a master blender, so what he does with natural tobaccos, this is really yeah, awesome. I don't I don't use this word word very often. So, but that's really great, and I think he has a close eye on on some of the of the best American blenders, perhaps especially Cornell and Deal. So, it's not that he copies the things, but I think the way he he uses tobaccos, he's blending it, uh, he combines uh, Virginia, Kentucky, Orientals and different styles, so flakes, ready rubs, yeah, just good tobacco. Um, he has some, some pretty nice Kentuckys uh, also, so but, but the Tillerman, so the Tillerman is uh, a Virginia blend, 
a really nice Virginia blend. So it is not pure natural, so they add a little bit, and that's that's always when it comes to HU tobaccos. If they add something to it, so a little flavoring. So it's not that you have an aromatic then. So that's not what you if you smell it, if you taste it. So if you just like the aromatics, you will be disappointed when you when you get this. Let me say that. So just show you the tobacco. It's a nice one. Looks nice. So they make a combination of different Virginias, especially from Africa uh, and India too. So and Philippines, uh, I think too. So and then they add a little bit of of cacao uh, and a little bit of chocolate and a secret component. I don't know what that is, but. For me, first moment you smell it, when you open the tin, you think it's a bit liquorized or, or anise. So, a little bit of liquorized, but these aromas are just to, to underline the natural sweetness, the natural taste of the different Virginias. I think it's medium strength. Medium strength. So it's a good, good smoke all day. So Tillerman, Tillerman. That that means, uh, I think that means helmsman. So yeah, pretty nice. So you should give the HU tobaccos a shot. So from time to time, in different reviews, I, I would show different uh, tobaccos. Uh, from them, but let me say that so they have not a huge amount of different tobaccos, but well, there's enough stuff for a natural lover so to get into that. So and it's well, it's done with passion. Let me say that. So you 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 can you can see that from from the first moment. So you smell it, you taste it, you just the feeling of the tobacco. You know the the texture, very great. So and for reasonable prices reasonable price I don't know that so that one is nine euros that's okay and if you got a hundred gram uh, tin uh, price is even better so uh, I'm wondering about that how they do it with micro blending so not a large industry of uh, blending so that's it so yeah pretty nice here this mill uh, goes back to the 17th century mm. And it's very French, so it's very charming, very nice, uh, very simple, but not in pretty good shape. Not in pretty good shape. You can say that at least. Mm. Well, it's part of the sh of the charming components here in, in France. So if you if you watch out for something very clean, modern, uh, and everything, so in, in perfect shape, well. That, that wouldn't be something for you, but if you look out for nature and for authentic people here in this small village and, and all those things, so there's a huge wildlife here. Many, many birds, even in the night. So it's not green yet, so imagine that would, that would look even prettier when it's, when it's green, but it's well, it's nice. So, I'll give you a short view. Let me just take the camera. Oops. So, there we have it. Quite small. There you, you can sit there. In the evening, if the weather allows, I just see it's an old mill. Let me just look at the, at the surface here, the landscape, quite beautiful.
that's it. Hmm. Yeah, hi there. I'm here in a small village nearby the water mill where I stand and I just wanted to show you something. So, the boulangerie, the bakery is closed. So, but here is an, uh, an alternative to that. Just wanted to show you that. By the way, mm, smoking some, ah, let me get that. Some Boswells, vanilla. Quite delicious. It is what it sounds like. So, I show you what they do when the boulangerie is closed. So you see right behind me, there's the baker store. So, and then, they have an automatic bakery here. So, you just put in money, and then you, you just take a look what you want to have, and then you, you choose, oh, and it comes out there. So you can have some something sweet, or oh, that's it, a donut. So, or just a simple bread. So, and to be honest, quality is quite good. Let me change that. So, here we have it. And you see, already tried, quality is quite good. So, okay, I'm on my way to Metz. So, see you. I'm in the center of town in Metz now, at the great cathedral of Metz. I hope you can see that behind me. That's an impressive building, one of the most important cathedrals of the medieval ages. Give you a look, short view. But So, my apology, but the cathedral is just too, yeah, too big. Can't get it in one shot. Well, the whole place here, quite impressive, and the whole surrounding. The streets nearby, all filled up with historical buildings. It's amazing. Of course, many tourists here. So, and even now, on a Sunday, so no, no shops open, or nearly no shops open. Okay, I'm gonna go in.
this is really impressive. This cathedral is huge. So that was really impressive. So, like many things here in France, the cathedral is not in pretty good shape. Well, you, you can't say that. So, well, they have so many great buildings, so it's not easy for them uh, to keep them all in pretty good shape. So, I understand that. So. Uh, just a short footage here. I am in Metz. To be precise, I am at the German Gate. That's one of the major fortifications here in Metz. So that's an important gate for the Middle Ages here. I'll give you a short view, but first, what am I smoking? Smoking an HU tobacco. So that's a selected HU. They all also have Selected tobaccos. And this is this is a nice one. This is number number three. So it is a, a red erupt. Uh, it's red Virginia. It's Oriental. It's Kentucky and Peru. So you see again, well, this is a complex mixture. So for me, it's mainly Kentucky. So and that that's what I like. So I like the pepper notes, it burns very well, it has enough humidity, it packs easily. So, give you a short view, hope you can see that. It's a nice one, nice one. And even if it is Kentucky, it is, I think, medium strength. So it's not, it's not too strong. Okay, give you a short view. There you see. Okay. And there. We have it down here, the direction.
Yeah, that's it. Just the short footage. Just back from a little tour, so just just want to give you a short view of the backyard of the little mill. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Smoking. Smoking my Stanwall pipe of the year 2009. So this is a pipe that always gives me good company. It's so reliable. So I had it with me in my pocket for for years. So um, smoking, um, I want to show you that, some Flanagan, that's an HU tobacco too, so show you the tin, so nothing special on the tin. The tins from HU, by the way, pretty good quality, so it's okay to store the tobacco inside that. So just a short view, this tobacco is something special. So there is Balkan Oriental in it. Um, there's Virginia uh, from Africa, from Zambia, I think. Dark fired Kentucky, huge amount, I think. So you, you really smell the, the Kentucky. And even a little bit of Virginia from India, hand stripped. And to top it, so a little bit of perique. So very complex. Mm. The taste, a little bit earthy, a bit nutty. You have some pepper notes, of course you have. So perique and Kentucky. And well, it's a bit more than medium strength, I think. Well, I'll show you the tobacco. I hope you can see that. So it's a nice one. So first moment you touch it, you think, oh, could, could be a bit dry. But it's not like that. So normally, the Kentuckys you have, they, they like to be a bit moister, and that's a good thing. But it's okay here. They did pretty well. So it's a really nice smoke. Enough spiciness. Perhaps not an all-day smoke. But more than once a day, I think. Two times, three times. <laughs> Whatever you like. So it's a nice one. Give it a shot. So, reasonable price. Nine euros. Hmm. Yeah. Quite nice. Could, so I think temperature could be some degrees more. So. It's still a little bit cold, but you see some's coming up. Yeah, well you see the mill looks nice, but same time you see shape isn't very good. I think there has work to be done on that. And by the way, it's uh, under monumental protection. So it's Denkmar shots. I don't know how they call it here in, in France. So just wanted to give you a short look. Mm. So, packed and ready, ready for head out. Yeah, uh, okay. I showed you some of the HU tobaccos and told a little bit about uh, what it is. So, my German micro blending company, and yeah, they do pretty good stuff. Uh, I have to admit that. So, there are two or three others I wanted to show you. I don't want to do a review about that, so uh, took already so much of your time, so my apology for that, but 
Yeah, when you're here for a week, uh, one thing leads to another. So, um, okay, there's the Nashville County. Uh, that's an original warehouse blend done by HU. So it is what it sounds like. So um, it is a Kentucky. So and I like that very much. If you know the Robert McConnell uh, Scottish cake and you you like that. You will love that. So this is really good stuff if you are into the Kentuckys. Only thing I could complain about is is if you go very hot on it, if you, you just try to satisfy your craving for the great taste it provides, then it likes to get a bit moisty. So that's the only thing. But I like it and I will order it again. So, uh, I think the Louisiana Broken, uh, I think this is one of the most appreciated tobaccos they do. So, that's a Perique one. So, don't want to talk about that uh, so much. You, you find it on the internet. So, many uh, pipe smokers, they like uh, this stuff. Um, I like it, but I'm not a huge Perique fan. So, that's... That's not absolutely my, my favorite, but it's, it's good stuff too. So, um, there's another one that's interesting, so perhaps I'm going to talk about that uh, another day uh, a bit more. That's uh, Bahia Orange. So, perhaps you've seen it last time. I did some, I had some, some orange uh, experiences. So, that was not planned. That was, yeah, was just like that. So, this is an orange too, but uh, don't get me wrong, this is not a, an aromatic, so what, what we understand for an aromatic. The moment you open the tin, you have a little bit chemical notes, and that, that's a bit disturbing, so what I find, so. Uh, but the moment you light it up, and the moment you smoke it, uh, you smell it and taste it then, so you don't have the feeling that it's an aromatic. It's the same here, uh, when it comes to HU tobaccos, they just use a little bit of casing or whatever, a little bit of flavor, just to underline the natural uh, taste of the tobacco. And I think that that went quite well, so that's an interesting one. Um, so, and there are more HU selected tobaccos, this is number five. So, I want to talk about that in another video, because I have an idea what it might be. So it's a selected tobacco. So, uh, I have an idea. Uh, so, but let me do some research on it and, and then I come back to that. But let me just say, this is perhaps my favorite selected tobacco by HU. So, uh, yeah, that's it uh, for the moment uh, about HU tobaccos. Gonna head out now. Uh, so, next week, uh, I hope that Joshua, Joshua in the woods, uh, I mean, we, we come together and we do something, so, so we have some ideas. Perhaps we're going to head out in the woods, in the North German woods, and try to find an ancient place. Um, let's see how that works. Uh, depends on the weather, I, I think. So, but, but we're going to try to do something, uh, I think. So, yeah. So, that's it uh, for today. Hope you are well. Take care, and perhaps see you in Bremen again.
Fahren Sie geradeaus, D1.